Welcome fish lovers to Sax Tanks, Crazy Aquarium Guy. Today's video I'm gonna show you what I did with the 175 gallon to secure the FX6, the big canister filter from sucking in <laughs> ender fry and shrimps. So I did the video when I put all of them in. I sure I'm sure a lot of you guys watched that one. And I had a plan, a backup plan, if it didn't work with the, sh the fry and the shrimps but I didn't include that in the video so I'm gonna show you in this one and those the first bit of the video is two days after I got the tank when I secured the filter but I'm also gonna include five minutes from today because it's been 14 days now and we're moving close to adding the Fahaka puffer in there so no water changes has been done. I started out with two kilos of ceramic filter media that was already cycled from another tank. And now it's showing nitrates. So, I think it's cycled actually. I added uh, another fish, but at that, that part is included in the next swim tails. But uh, yeah, so how to secure your big canister filter and an update on the 175 gallon coming up. So stay tuned guys and please, as usual, comment, like and subscribe. So it's just been two days. So that's the why the filter is so clean. But I opened the faucet and put the water in here. No fish or shrimp came out. Nothing on this one, but in the bottom we could actually find, see if we can see any. Mm -mm -mm. Yep. What's about five ender fry in here? No shrimps, so that idea worked. But one female actually dropped fry the day after she came into the big tank, so so I'm gonna make something different with the intake now because we don't want to lose fry, of course and I knew that could be a risk going in with this project <laughs> but I wanted to try it two days and see, maybe they are scared of the intake, it's a big aquarium but no way, they're not smart enough but no shrimp so that's good but we're gonna make this filter shrimp safe and fry safe so we're gonna cover the intake with something and I thought of this idea when I watched another video and it was my idea but the other guy had an FX6 and didn't want his African cichlids to get stuck in the filter and I thought of this ceramic filter media bag or chemical filter media bag I suppose it is so I'm gonna put this over the intake simple with one of these because I need to cut these and take this out and clean it once in a while it's not gonna look great with one of these on the intake but it's gonna be worth it to keep all the fry and all the shrimp hopefully we still don't know if the pahaka will eat them all so I think this looks okay I was so nervous not nervous but afraid that I couldn't fit this to into this one with the filter socket on it with the filter sock on it sorry guys it's late it's actually 2 a.m. but this will work fine you can see it's a really fine mesh filter socket but you can still see through it hopefully it won't slow down the FX6 too much but with this on no shrimp or no, or, and no Ender fry can get into it, so I think this is a great 
solution for this problem. So I'm going to put it in and we're going to turn on the FX6, hook everything back and see if we can see the flow slowing down. I don't think so. If it's going to slow down, it's going to slow down after a couple of weeks when this gets full of stuff. But then I can just change it out. But I can't change this out too often, so we'll see. But a great monthly solution if you want still want the big tank with epic 6 but you want to care of your fry and your shrimplets so till the next bit guys so it doesn't look that bad my background is light gray colored so Blends in better than I thought. Now all the handlers can breed all they want. Even the smallest fry can't get into that one. Don't think about it as much when you go back a few feet. Now I can breed my black rose shrimp and endlers without worrying they get into the canister filter. So, 14 days. I said in the beginning of the video that the tank is cycled, but I don't know if the tank is really cycled before you have it, have had it established for about three months or so, but nitrates and this brown bacteria, as we often refer to as brown algae, is a good sign. And as you can see, it's fry mania in here. So the idea with the filter socket works really good. I guess they felt like, oh, we have a lot of space in here. Let's drop a lot of fry. Or they always drop this amount of fry and they get eaten by the handlers. But now they don't. And as you can see, this socket is pretty dirty. I'm actually gonna check after the video if it slowed the filter down, but I don't think it did that by much, at least. Huge amount of fry in here. Like I said, 14 days without a water change. I think I'm gonna do a water change tomorrow and then tomorrow or the next day I'm gonna put the Fahaka puffer in here and of course do a video about that because I haven't seen a video on YouTube how to move a big Fahaka puffer the right way the safe way but this tank is going great no problems before the lights came on I saw a bunch of shrimp down low, you can see one over there. So everybody's doing great. Loving this tank, simple scape, but you gotta remember I got it for the Faka Puffer, so he's the main reason. But I will be super happy if I can keep all the fry 
and all the handlers with him. You can really see the fry from here. So, it was great timing moving the handlers over. Pretty much all the females were about to drop the fry and they got more space so they dropped them. So thank you so much guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe and share and like the video. Please like the video. Helps me a lot. And of course, ask me anything you want in the comment section. I'm sure some of, some of you know that I usually answer 99% of all your questions. I usually answer 99% of all comments. But I will say that I will always answer questions. But right now, I answer everything. Not just questions. So thank you guys. Have a great Sunday. See you in the next video. Bye bye from Sax Tax.